most players prefer to attack than defend. Attacking may be fun, but learning how to defend against attacks not only saves you from defeat, good defense can also win many games by refuting an unsound attack. When defending, remember that chess is a game of many opportunities. There are always chances to save even the most desperate looking positions, if you keep a positive attitude and look for these opportunities. In this position, Black is in serious trouble. Although Black's pawn is one move away from promoting, notice that Black's king is trapped on the back rank. With white to move, almost any rook move threatening to deliver checkmate on the back rank, such as rook d3, c3, or b3, are all completely winning. As white thinks all of these rook moves are the same, white plays rook a3. White expects black to resign as checkmate looks unavoidable on the next turn. Black could promote the pawn on h1, but it's too little too late after rook a8 checkmate, because black's rook on g2 prevents the new queen from capturing the rook on a8. What if black's rook wasn't on the long diagonal? By keeping a positive attitude, Black found the incredible resource Rook takes g6 check. Black sacrifices the Rook with check to clear the long diagonal. However White decides to capture the Rook, either with the King or f takes g6, Black saves the game with h1 equals Queen, preventing checkmate on the next move. Black not only has saved the game, but now has a winning position. Although it will require a good technique to win the game. Well, let's take a look at another example of defending against attacks. In this position, Black is playing a much higher rated opponent, and Black's knight that was on f6 just got pushed back by the e5 pawn. Now that there isn't a knight on f6, the only guard of the h7 square is Black's king. White unleashes a bishop sacrifice, known as the Greek gift with bishop takes h7 check. Black assumed the much higher rated player had everything calculated before sacrificing the bishop and played king h8. White was able to win the game without any trouble. When defending, it is important to always respect your opponent, but do not blindly trust that their attack must be good. Make sure to always check the most active defense. It looks scary to capture the bishop with king takes h7, as white has a powerful looking attack with knight g5 check. When after king g8 and queen h5, it looks like black cannot stop checkmate on h7 without sacrificing the queen. Notice that knight f6 simply loses a piece to e takes f6 when white is still threatening checkmate. Can you find the saving move that both players overlooked? If you found the resourceful queen d3, Great job! Black's queen guards the h7 square. White's attack is refuted and Black is simply up a bishop for a pawn. Let's take a look at another position. So far we have looked at positions where the defense had an opportunity to take advantage of a flaw in the opponent's attack. In this position, White's pieces are very active and can work together very well to attack the weak Black king. When defending, your best chance to survive is often finding an active defense or counterattack. In this position, black could try to ignore white's pressure on the king side and play b3, pushing black's main strength in the position, the advanced pawns on the queen side. Unfortunately for black, after rook h8 check, king f7, and rook d7 check, black's king is in serious trouble. If black tries to hide on the back rank with king e8, attacking the rook on d7, can you see a forced checkmate in two for white? White can take advantage of the pinned bishop on f8 and play rook e7 check, forcing king d8, and rook takes f8, checkmate. After rook d7 check, black is forced to play king f6. When knight takes f8, Threatens knight h7, checkmate. Black's king is too weak for black's queenside attack to succeed, so after checking black's most active idea, black needs to respect white's attack. Sometimes the best way to defend is by sacrificing material to remove some pressure from your opponent's attack. 
Black's best chance is to sacrifice the rook for the knight, known as an exchange sacrifice, with rook takes g6 check. After f takes g6, by giving up a little material, white no longer has such a powerful attack. Now black should remain as active as possible by playing b3. When you are on the defense, you want to create as many problems for your opponent as possible. The more difficult choices your opponent has to make, the better your chances of defense. If white doesn't take the pawn, black can play b2, when the advanced pawn will always have to be kept under watch, giving black good defensive chances. But if white does capture the pawn with c takes b3, black creates more problems for white with c2. Black is now ready to play bishop a3 and support the pass pawn. So after rook a1, Black activates the passive bishop with bishop b4, threatening bishop d2. After combining careful defense with active counterplay, Black's passive position has come to life and is doing well. Now that you've learned the importance of staying alert and defending as actively as possible, let's see if you can defend the following positions.